Alright. Well. Let's see if this is working now. Whew. Cool. Alright. Well, um, my desktop crashed. Which was what I was broadcasting from. So, I have Streamlabs also installed on my laptop. So, I installed the uh, update. And I'm broadcasting here now. So, there's all kinds of things going off here. All kinds of alarms. Let's see. Close that. And that's the camera. I can't close that one. Okay. I'm pretty sure that this is going to work. And my kitty cat's in here talking to me. Alright, so I'm going to 5K scan. Um, let's see what's happening here. Let me see if I can check on my phone, make sure this is working. Cat's doing weird stuff. Oh, let's see. Come on. Okay, cool. So, we're online. <laughs> um, wonder how far back it is. showing her online that we're online so it's about a 30 second delay as expected okay cool all right um so where were we okay got case scan or uh yeah case scan 3d is turned on and need to check and see uh, make sure the device is set up correctly again Yeah, it's there. And I need to reset the scanner parameters. Um, I made some notes, but they were on my desktop. Let me see. I know the, the scanner properties over here I changed before. Let me make sure, okay, we have power. There's my face. Okay, so I need to adjust the um, ranges here again. I'm just gonna reset them all back to basically zero. I should start getting let's see big Z range low minimum high range so yeah I can see background and all that kind of stuff hey hey tigers here hey tiger tiger number one fan um okay so we got the scan working so what I figured out after looking at some tutorials and stuff was that I don't need to worry about dropping the background out, right? Because before, where's my mouse? Here we go. Before, remember, I was trying to change some things so that it didn't catch so much of the background and the scan wasn't really working out so hot. But that doesn't matter. Um, oh, cool. It's like picture in picture. <laughs> so what I figured out, though, was it's fine if it picks up the background and other stuff around because once I get the scan I can actually remove that remove that part of the point cloud so um, let me see here now generate ok 
Capture only was correct. High density. I'm going to do a couple of batch scans first. Right now, I'm just going to do like three test scans, um, three seconds in between, and see if uh, this is really going to work out the way I think it is. So, And let me know if the audio sounds good. If the picture's coming through, like I said, I'm like, oops, scanning. Totally by the seat of my pants again. Uh, I was not prepared. Where's my hand? There's my hand. Okay. So that distance in the light, let me delete these and rescan. It's going to give me three seconds. So three seconds. And three seconds. Right. I keep grabbing the wrong. I keep grabbing my desktop mouse, but nothing's moving. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> what I found was so once here at this point, no pun intended. Um, what I actually need to do is delete the excess point data. And I believe this uh, bounding box is only supposed to be as big as what the scan is, but maybe not. Maybe that's still uh, the maximum of the, the scan box. No, there's still something else here somewhere. Okay, maybe I got it. Oh, no, zoom in. All right. So uh, the problem before what I was trying to do was um, I was adjusting the... Uh, I was trying to adjust all of the scans together at the same time, which is not correct. You need to do them one scan at a time. So that first scan, yes, save the alteration. See though, in this preview, there's this big gap over here on the side, which makes me think I missed something. Oh, there we go, maybe. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was expecting. The uh, bounding box to be like right up on my hand. Yes, so I'll do the same thing with the second one. So there's just junk data in the scan. Bounty box jumped right to it. Beautiful. Same thing here. And something over here. So what I'm doing to do this, um, I'm holding down the control key and then clicking and dragging the mouse, which is allowing me to select sections of the point cloud. So, um, like I can come over here and like, oh, I now I've selected this part of my arm, right? Um, let's see if that got everything. Yeah. So now when I put the three together, and let's see, a line, no valid scans. Oh, I think I have to turn the point clouds in. Uh, select multiple first. Is that it? Nope. I have to turn it into a uh, mesh first. Yeah, enter the mesh mode. That's right. And build. And that tried to move them around. You can align that. Find alignment yet? I don't think. So anyway, it's um, the problem before was there was too much junk in the scan, and now I can grab each piece and line them up better. So this was just a real quick and a rough scan just to make sure. Um, Tiger says you can have a stationary camera and have a rotating object. Yes, um, that is the plan for, you know, uh, like a scanning station, because I have a Lazy Susan and all that, but I can't 
put my arm in a lazy Susan. And um, it's without the help of an extra hand, <laughs> it's um, more difficult to scan myself, I guess. So um, let's see here now. I'm going to delete these three and now like scan for real and see if we can get it to come up better. So let's see, I'm gonna do 10 second lead time. Um, now, all the tutorials and stuff I looked at were saying that it's better to do as many scans as possible. And one of them was saying do like a scan from above and around the object and then on the level around the object and then below and around the object. Um, and instead of using the time scanner, they were actually clicking scan each time. Um, I'm short of hand doing that, so I'm going to have to use the time scanner, but we can always scan multiple times and the scans will all just go here and then clean them up. So um, I'm going to give this another shot. Let's say I'm just going to do a ton of scans, do like 30 scans. Lap, that mouse doesn't do anything. <laughs> and uh, we get a drink. We um, had a problem with the utility district this week, so I've got a big jug of water. All right. Oh, let's see. There's a kitty cat. I don't know if she wants to get scanned. <laughs> cool. Okay, so I need my hand about here. And I'm going to try to keep the crosshairs so that my the, the palm equivalent is uh, in, in the center. <clears throat> Let me see what's going on here. All right, just making sure the camera was still working. Um, so I think if I start up high. Do a few scans from this angle and then move down and then move here, I guess. I feel like even though I have the the Z stuff set, I'm still hitting offsets. Let me see. Oh, okay. That's right. I was still cropping the uh, scan area. That's better. So now I'm, I can move around a bit more. I felt like I was hitting the ceiling uh, digitally in the image. So, okay. 30 scans, 10 seconds start, 3 seconds between, it's a minute and a half ish of scans. I'm sure it'll be good. I want to. I think I want to generate the capture only. I don't know. I watched too many videos. <laughs> a little confused in the, the setup here. Yeah, I'm going to do the capture only. High density. Okay. So let's make it happen, Kevin. Oh. Nope. Stop. I did a three second delay to start with a 10 second <laughs> delay in between. See, Tiger says, Are you going to do inanimate, non changing objects because you're likely to change fingers relative to each other? Um, I'm. Not for this project, I'm not, because um, I just want to make a 3D scan of the finger. But since I only care about the one finger, I can actually delete the um, the other fingers out of the point cloud if there's a if there's an issue there. If that makes sense, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, flip that around. Delay between scans is three. Start delay is ten. 
Let's fire this up and see what happens. I'm going to start here from the top. I'm going to go here, yeah, from this angle. Just slowly turning. And I'm watching the uh, both screens there to make sure I'm getting some geometry and I'm already doing something different I'm already just doing the finger instead of the hand like I said but let's see alright uh, let's come down here oh, that's not going to be a good scan I should have been counting them as they went And I feel like the uh, the knuckle side is going to be the least represented here. Oop, oop. There we go. This is the point cloud, so even if I rotate this way, I should be able to line it back up. I'm not sure what I need now, though. Maybe this angle? Okay, that's it, I guess. I really want to use the mouse, apparently. Okay, let's see here. Um, there's a lot of images. That's crazy. Oh, I, the first one must have fired before I had the finger. Okay. So there's the, the real first one. I'm going to delete... this one yeah okay so now I just gotta select around this stuff delete and select around all this stuff delete oh, there's still something over here there we go feel like that looks pretty good. Not bad. What do you think, Tiger? And uh, anybody else that's around? Who else is here watching? Uh, let's see. I bet Stinger's here. Tiger's here. Who else? Tiger says, take a blue plastic glove, cut off the finger you like, and scan while wearing, and the finger will be a more separate object from the hand. Um, that's a good idea. Might try that. If this doesn't work out, I'll, uh, have to grab a glove from the garage. Oops, missed a little there. See it? Looks like that again. Uh, it's looking all right. See, I think. <laughs> Stinger says, am I really here or anywhere, though? So I think right here, see, like, I could actually come up here and delicately cut around the finger. 
And now I just have the finger. I'm going to undo that for now, though, because I want to use the uh, undo the rest of the hand. Is there not an undo? The rest of the hand to help, um, I, I cannot say, to help align the, the finger part. Oh, Cameron's here. Hey, Cameron. All right, let's see. Now, here in the background, too, just crazy to me all the little stuff that gets picked up. See right here, this green spot, that's the, uh, well, you won't be able to see it on the camera because the green screen. But that was the um, uh, 3D printed 3D puzzle. And oh, Ken's here too. Hey, Ken. All right, so I'll clean this up. And again, I'm just holding control and just drawing this yellow line around stuff that I don't want. All right, looks good to me. See, Ken, you've done a 3D scan before. Do you remember what software you used? That looks good. Now, if, if this does actually end up working, um, like I said, I've got a Lazy Susan. Um, I had 3D printed some parts for a stand, but it also needs a uh, like a camera tripod. And my camera tripod was um, floated away. Let's see, Ken says, I looked back but couldn't find it. All right, well. Maybe it was this one. Okay, grab that stuff. All right. Nice and easy. A few of these in here, I think, are going to be uh, rough. The thing is, the little preview windows over here didn't actually show as much as it scanned didn't show as much as it captured so maybe maybe the ones I thought weren't very good will actually turn out well oh tiger says I've got serious tripods if you need to borrow one <laughs> cool you also got serious lenses I've just got these little tiny lenses <laughs> Whoops. Scroll too far. That is a lot of scans. Hopefully you can get something halfway decent out of this. Cause like I said last time, if this doesn't work out, um I'm just gonna 3D print a robot finger. Or Maybe I could uh, turn one on the lathe. That's an interesting conversation. Next time at the wood store. What you making? A finger. This is number 91. I feel like it didn't start it at zero. Okay, no, it started at 81. Oh, look at that. Down the left-hand side. That looks like a pretty good rotation. 
in those frames. Nice. You can almost see the picture on the wall. That angle looks like I was flipping off the camera. <clears throat> Cleaning these up. Sometimes we hit the the boring stuff here, I guess. I don't know. Just control click delete. So um I know this is the uh, first episode at the new time, starting at 8, even though I started with problems. Um, what do you guys think of the new time 8 to 10 instead of 9 till whenever? Are you more likely to tune in? Um, less likely? I don't know. <laughs> more likely to potentially watch later knowing that it's going to be only two hours at maximum but possibly less I know that was one of the problems with some of the other episodes I had some friends that were interested in checking things out and they're like oh a four and a half hour video and I'm like yeah I know at the time it's kind of cool but oh that was weird uh and I've rewatched some of the videos to make sure, you know, the, the production value is up to what I expect. But I get it. I'm not going to go back and rewatch a five hour video of me and Tiger putting our 3D printers together anytime soon. I don't know. I might one day. Let's see, Ken says, it's awesome that you do these, but unfortunately I never find the time to watch. You're doing a great job. Thanks, Ken. I appreciate that. Oops. What is going on? There we go. And really, um, like I talked about in the last episode, um, the main purpose of the show originally, and still deep down, is for me to have some sort of public accountability with uh, doing some stuff, making some stuff, as the name uh, says. Now the stuff is deleting points. The point cloud is really interesting to me because I mean there's got to be some maximum resolution of the scanner and you can see like the gaps and stuff in the lines or in the between the points. Just a, the whole thing is very interesting. Let's see. 
I think this one is a bad scan. Well, maybe not. It caught the side of the finger. Also, I'm not sure how this freeform rotation works very well, apparently. And it's, it was the same way for me before in, uh, like, different CAD software. If there's just a freeform single-click rotation that moves across all the axis points, I very quickly can get the image turned upside down and can't get it back. It's kind of strange. I don't even see my finger in this one. Oh, these bands right here, I guess. All right, I'll just get rid of that one. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one, too. something down here. There we go. So if you had a Xbox 360 Connect and scanning software, what would you scan? Supposing your answer is appropriate for a uh, public YouTube video that's not for mature audiences only. <sighs> Last one. Looks like a really good scan, too. All right. Okay, so the scans are cleaned up. So let's see about alignment. I think I was watching. Ah, I have to turn them all into. I don't think I have to turn them into meshes yet. There was a way to. Why is that one locked? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna lock that one because that one's the top one. I've got to go like two at a time and align the second one to the first one, and then the third one to the second one, and then the fourth one to the third one. Okay, so maybe I do have to turn them into meshes first. This one's locked, right? Yeah, okay. Grab them all. There's all the scans at once, but of course, oh, something's got something funny over here to the side. Which one is that? Oh, that was, I think, the top view. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to delete that one. Let's see, Ken says... I did remember whatever program I used, there was a feature that automatically aligned the multiple scans. Yeah, that'd be nice. Alright, have all of these. Mesh editor. I'm just gonna build. Just gonna turn all of these point clouds into meshes. And try to align them. See, kind of wiggling around here in the center. Get a drink while I was 
processing. Okay. Got some hand pieces, hand parts. <laughs> That's it's bottled water, buddy. Not just bottled water, but bottled water. Let's see. There's a few more here that didn't build. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what's happening. Some of these keep getting locked. That's weird. I don't want anything locked yet. Okay. So select everything. Don't show anything, but save all of their changes. And now one at a time. So we got a little. Bring in the second one. Now these two. the first one, grab the second one. So I need to try to this is difficult on a trackpad. Let's see. Okay, I feel like it's aligning the pinky here. So maybe maybe I do need to cut everything out except for the finger. Let's see if I bring a third one in. Yeah, I feel like the this part of the hand is getting lined up. Well, that would be great if I was trying to get a scan of my curled pinky. <laughs> okay, so... Okay. I don't think I can convert these back into point clouds, though. Oh, okay. But I can still select and delete stuff. So maybe... Let's try and... that let's see what happens let's see there was something else up here I don't care about the texture so much okay maybe it was solid or maybe it was wireframe that was helping there's the points there's not a lot of points going on there so let me come back to this guy. Yeah, this is what I was looking at before. Okay. Trim this off. Oops. Now let me see if it can figure out Hey. That might be alright. Bring the third one in. 
Okay, so I just gotta do more cleanup. More cleanup. Save it. Alright, and align it. Look at that. That's starting to look like a finger. Let's see. Stinger's asking, why are you scanning your finger instead of using something like this? Let's see, what is this? Oh, a prosthetic finger. So I had looked at the different prosthetic fingers. And those are cool, but they're segmented so that um, it actually like bends and moves. Um, I just wanted to have a finger and I wanted part of it was because I wanted to use a 3D scanner and figure out how to do that first of all can yes thank you um, but I wanted to use the scanner uh, secondly I wanted to um, you know have my own finger as as part of the device without losing my finger <laughs> um, whoops Moving the wrong thing again. So basically, that's it. I wanted to use the scanner. Because um, I've, whoops, whoa. Because I've had it, but I haven't had it set up for a while. And it's all just part of making stuff, I guess. Save that. Let's see, I think. Just grab two of them and hit a line, maybe. So that one's locked. No, that didn't work out. Okay, unlock it. Maybe need to remove a little extra. still not lining up very well. Let's see. Let me keep that one hidden for now. Come on, sir. There we go. I wish there was an easy way to move the, uh, the display. Like, if I could take the whole, like, the camera that's viewing the mesh and pan it down a little bit. But I couldn't figure that out before. I mean, recenter centers it, but based on the... Oh, well, maybe that'll, that'll be enough, right? If I trim off the bits of the arm I don't need and recenter. Oh, yeah, that worked out. That. Uh, so there's a little something right there. Or that might just be on my screen. Okay, that was just on my screen. <laughs> yeah, Ken says, I think you lock one, move the other sort of close to where you want it, and it will do the rest. Yeah. That's kind of what I think is going on here. Oops. Locking them along the way as we go. In fact, once you tell it to align, it actually locks that one. A little something extra here. That finger didn't look right. Yeah, no, the, the shift and alt stuff doesn't do anything with the camera. It's all just, there's some controls up here that kind of do some things. Okay, line. Let me see if it will better align. That one. Right, let's see. 
while clicking and dragging the mouse. Yeah, I tried that. It's it's clicking and dragging with control does the selection. Shifts it still just it'll tag it to a single axis for the rotation, and Alt doesn't do anything. Um, this seems to be the only it recenters on the the mesh, but otherwise. There's no like camera movement because I don't really think there's actually a camera. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. Yeah, right click didn't do a difference. Uh, I don't have a middle mouse on this trackpad, which I know is like a sin when doing uh, 3D modeling stuff. Like the big modeling softwares, everything is done with the middle mouse click. It's crazy. Shave some of that off there. And this one, this one, align. Oh, that was a good alignment. So maybe, let's see, recenter. It's not the axis I want you. Whoops. No. So here I think is where Tiger had a good point about um, stationary things and distance from things and stuff because I think uh, these these two segments I've highlighted right now are the right size. But, um, and line up pretty well for the point cloud that was turning to the mesh. But this gap here is because I think maybe my finger shifted in distance. Let's see here, do that. Just a little more right there. Save it. Uh, line to the last one. Oh yeah, that aligned real well. So I may end up with two or three pieces that work out well together that then need to be combined. We'll see. It seems a little more promising than I expected, if I'm being completely honest. With uh, this alignment here. Because I had some problems with it when I was testing with it before between episodes I mean all right save that slice my finger off there is there a shortcut key for a line nope okay I'm all about shortcut keys in most of the programs I use too <clears throat> Like, I'll be doing something in Excel at work, and I'll, you know, make a macro, or Notepad++, and put together a macro. But in, uh... You know, Visual Studio or whatever, I'll, you know, Control-M-O, and this, that, and the other, just to zip around in there. looking pretty good Let's see nope not that way this way yeah okay come on oh it's locked All right lock it back save it Okay, so this transition between 91 and 92 is going to be interesting to see what happens because it's the back of the hand versus the front of the hand. I may need to do that, that front side uh, separately and then align the two sets manually. I don't know. Let's see.
that kind of yeah uh, why there's not enough skin available oh I clicked instead of shift clicked I missed the shift okay now this here is saying fine alignment I wonder if I do mesh geometry instead oh I don't know, that might have been a better choice. All right, well, I'm through the first, what is that, 10? Yeah, 10 scans. And it's pretty much that one side of the finger. So let me see here if I can get these 10 to align more accurately. I guess nine. I don't have 84 selected. So I'm going to start with the first one and lock it in place. Now with the second one. Instead of fine alignment this time, I'm going to do mesh geometry. Uh, yeah, mesh geometry alignment. And see. Oh, no, that was not better. Hmm. Nope, I have to unlock. And yeah, final alignment. Huh. Well that's weird. Let's see undo. I don't want to undo the one at a time. Only undoes, only Will undo. Un undones? <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'll lock this one in place. This one, I want you. No, stop asking me. I think I messed it up when I. switched to the uh, mesh geometry alignment the first time. Let's see, oh, I can move it by using the little bobber thing in the middle. Just change all the colors. I like that. Okay. Let me see now then. Final alignment. Nice. Okay. This one I need to shift around. Go up closer. Rotate down a little bit. Rotate around just a little bit. Try again. Oh, nice. Camouflage finger.
Okay. Oops. This way. Oh yeah, that snapped right over. That one was okay. I feel like it's a little off. Let's see. Get up a little bit. a little more maybe Oh yeah, that one just snapped right over. Cool. Nice. I don't know, what do you guys think so far? Is this, do you think this is gonna work out? looks kind of accurate with a gap there let me see I'll do this next one but I might realign that number 90 Did I just turn on sticky keys? I don't even know. Okay, I thought I did, but I didn't. So I think this needs to rotate just a little and maybe, I don't know, the three-dimensional movement is very awkward. This way, maybe over here a little bit. Try to line them again. Oh, no, it seriously wants it to go over there. Okay. It's probably knows what it's doing. I just didn't get a good scan right there, I guess. That looks pretty decent, actually. Okay. So the next piece, let's see, would be let's start it on this side. I was coming around. Let's just see what happens. I think this is going to need to rotate 180 degrees. Delete 
about that. Try to align it. Hmm, it didn't like that. Whoa. Still didn't. Uncheck that one and not save the changes. Bring in this one, bring in that one. Let me see if I can align these two. And then the next one. Oops, no scan second. Because like I said, if um, even if I can get them aligned in like two or three different groups, then I can set the groups up, right? So yeah, I need to... Clean up the, the hand. Delete that. Unlock that one. This one. that. Whoa. And a line here. I don't feel like that worked. to a line? Yes. And this one might have been too far of a turn. That. Oh, and there, it almost looked perfect already on that one. Come on.
leave a little bit more on that one and maybe the alignment will help. Oh yeah. That was real good. Let's see, will this move over? Oh, nice. It's a little bigger. I think this is going to have to be another set that's kind of grouped together since I moved from this position to this position, which is a pretty far distant move. But let me try it first. Yeah, it's too far away. Can't figure that out. What is that? Okay. So we'll take that a little bit. Line. Nice. Ooh, maybe that part of the arm will help. I'll leave it there on uh, on that one and see. That'll give those two. Yes. Eh, maybe. It's a little up, high up. But pretty close. Alright, so I will do the next set individually. Or as a as a third correction. Oh, I rotated it around though. Yeah, okay. So, don't save that. Try this again. I'm gonna lock this one. Yeah, same problem as before, it's aligning at the wrist. So let me undo those. I need to trim it back again. Okay, so this guy. Something kind of like that. Lock that one. This one. And this one. See if the line middle. Huh. It's really preferring the lower part. But maybe that's okay for now.
Okay, so let's see here. I've kind of got these into three different groups. And we've only got about five more minutes here. So let me see. First of all, which one was 92? And that one's fine. I'm going to save all these that I've changed so far. some way I can group these. Convert, delete, duplicate, lock, and show image. Oh, over the top there's a combine. All that. Ooh, nice. So it made one little chunk. All right, I like that. Let's see here, the next group. Oh, did it just make an extra one? Oh yeah, it did. That's cool. So then where's 93? for example. Oh, okay, that was the next... I don't know, something didn't seem right. Alright, whatever. 99... 93... those all right I don't like that and now 100 to 103 buying that. see if I can get these three chunks to combine. I feel like these two should be pretty easy to get lined up. Well, first let me just hit align and see what happens. Nothing. Okay. Let me unlock those. Let me move the smaller piece around. Rotate this way. Rotate here, rotate here. Oh, easy. Pull over here. Rotate some more here. This way. Now let's see if that will align. Ah, that didn't work. Well, that kind of kind of worked, sort of. Let's see, I believe this chunk here is the like where the knuckle is meeting and so that would line up to about here. Unlock that. Up here, maybe. Oops. better. Yeah, maybe. So definitely the end of the finger didn't get a good scan. Let's see if I can get 
get this piece to line up with the top of the hand here. This way and this way. And over here. Kind of like that. Ken says if they were both locked, the line wouldn't work, right? That is correct. They're both locked. The line wouldn't work. And when I do hit a line, it, it does lock everything that I tried to align. But that time, I believe I had the this 111 unlocked. I tried again. 111 unlocked and 112 locked. So 112 is going to hold in place and 111 should snap to it. And it shifted a little bit. Um, this I feel like to go around this way, kind of back some here, over here. That's getting closer. This is never mind that was earlier you tried to align and unlock when nothing happened and you manually moved it out. Oh. Yeah, and there's the 30 second delay, which then adds another delay when I see the message. <laughs> Let's see. That looks pretty close. Oh, well, that was ridiculous. I did figure out a. Uh, spot to align it to. That's kind of creepy looking. Undo a line. So maybe on this one now I need to trim off some of the arm. <laughs> Ken says, you're getting there. Those are aligned. And that's locked. And now this one and this one. Oh, that's closer. But I think the this group was still a little off. I don't know if I can ungroup. There's a revert. That might cut back to the original pieces. Oh no, all modifications. I don't want to do that. Cool. Well, anyway, it's uh, 10 o'clock. So I'll um, cut the show here. I'm going to keep working with these meshes. I may do a few more scans or scan again or something. Um, but this seems like it's going to work out. Just getting things aligned. Um, Ken, if you figure out which program you were using before that did the automatic alignment really well, uh, please let me know. Um, all this manual movement stuff is difficult. Feels like there should be an easier way. Um, but anyway, thanks everybody for hanging out tonight. Um, sorry for the problems and delays at the beginning. Um, and hopefully things will work out smoothly next week and we'll continue on with part three of of many parts <laughs> and uh, hopefully I can get the scan worked and maybe by next week there'll be a, a 3d print ready to, to start playing with with some hardware so um, I guess I'll talk to you later I don't have my intro and outro on my laptop here since my desktop crashed on me earlier but uh I'm just going to end the stream, so have a good night.